back at TPE 2023, Dr. Seaman Lampert of Lampert Cigars, one of my favorite brands out there. What's going on, sir? Hey, how are you guys? Greeting from the TPE. Happy to be here. Let me talk about our cigars, what we are displaying or what's new. So, on the shelf, you will see the Edition Azul, our standard core line. Edition Roco, our red line, made in Nicaragua. Then we have the Don Patron with the updated band, updated 10 count boxes. Looks super nice, made in Costa Rica. And what's new? We're going to release the Edition Oscura, made in Dominican Republic. Finally, you guys were waiting for it. It has a San Andres wrapper, Indonesian binder, filler from Dominican Republic. A strength but sweetness. The, United, the US market was waiting for that long time because what was missing in our portfolio it was a Maduro. And finally we made it happen for you guys. It comes in a nice 10 count box. You will have it like in the next two to three weeks um, at your local retailer. Very nice. So well you know good things you have to wait for. Yeah. It took us like more than a year the aged cigar it was more than a year in the humidor uh, it's gonna be super smooth smoke strength and sweetness as I said you will love it yes I'm sure it's gonna be the kick up from uh, from definitely from where the red was at and yeah. you know um, yeah I enjoy how you've been expanding out that core line of spend, you know that uh, with what you've been with what you've been doing to make it more uh, diverse and and what you've uh, put out there from something lighter to medium and now you're on to something heavy. So is this going to be a continual growth within that core line that, that we're going to see? A, yeah, this will be our core line. Uh, the Edition Oscura will be one of our core lines to round up our portfolio. Because as you said, we do from mild, medium to like strong, like, well, like not super strong, but still strong. Because we just want to have our people to have like a good selection of cigars from different countries, from different tobacco, because I love diversity. That's why we work in Costa Rica, we work in the Dominican Republic, and we work in Nicaragua. So we work like in three different countries to get to, to have diversity in our portfolio. And are you going to be expanding out on your golden retailer program uh, with the, 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 those delicious sticks? Oh yeah, we, so the gold retailer is for our top accounts, they will have access. We want to award them for great performance and every year we do a limited run of the gold retailer to award the great retailers, they do a great job for us because we think we should give them something back. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. And, and can you, uh, can you uh, give any hint on what this year's golden retail stick is going to be? I can. Oh. It's totally secret, otherwise it will be, everyone oh. will be angry. Big, big, big cigar, small cigar, big one. Oh, so we're gonna go bigger big than the one. Solomon. It's uh, no, it's gonna be fifty-six by six and a half. Okay, so yeah. we're going very to special it. tobacco. We will have four fillers. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. That, yeah, that, that's one of those yearly releases. Yeah, you, you got a nice ten count box. I can tell you that too. Nice. Yeah. So very good. Yeah. Anything else new you want to tell the people coming down or what they can expect from Lampert? Yeah, so as I said, the Edition Oscura, we will uh, release the Family Reserve to, uh, Road 2022. Uh, this time it will, will be a Toro, limited to 600 boxes worldwide, so like a Limitada, do once a year run. And at a later point, we will also release, because it's already released in Europe, Edition Morado. It's a purple line, it's also a Maduro, with a San Andres wrapper, but binder filler Nicaragua. So, yeah, many things coming. I'm super excited and glad I can be here. Yeah, we had a great time. It is. I love watching how you've exploded over the last three or four years yeah. with, the, with your brand. It's, uh, you know, I, you're one of those very underrated brands out there that now everybody knows about and everybody wants, and I'm super excited. To, to see the American consumer really, really get to experience the full Lambert effect. Yes, looking forward to it. And thank you all people for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Thank you, guys. Welcome back to TPE 2023 here with the great Manolo of Casa 1910. How are you doing, sir? All good, you? Good. Enjoying the events and festivities? Yeah, we're very excited to be here on the second time. On the first time, we present just one cigar, but right now we have three different lines with eight different cigars. We're very excited and, or with their or new releases. Yes, uh, uh, you guys really exploded right after TPE uh, or after PCA last year. You guys got huge um, and you brought out the additional lines. Fantastic. So what, what's been the biggest response that you've gotten back from a lot of the consumers out there about, uh, about being a new brand that has really popped? Yeah, well, it's very interesting because uh, when we talk about the brand, we talk about the Mexico, the Re Mexican Revolution, and all cigars from Mexico, all, all cigars has uh, a Mexican tobacco inside, but we have two with entirely made with Mexican tobaccos, and the response for, for the people is very, very excited about, about this, this cigar because it's a Mexican authentic puro with all Negro San Andres, filler, binder, and the wrapper, with different uh, different kind of process before we roll it. And it's, it's very interesting. The, the people most like it, the, the cigars and the brand. It's very great for us. Are you working on anything new coming out for later in the year or into next year? Well, um, today is the, the launch for this line, the Soldadera Edition made in Dominican Republic in Tabacalera La Isla with Ostos Quesada and I made three different blends in three different shapes the Teniente Angela, La Coronela and San Petrina for Soldadera edition. Soldadera is the general name for the Mexican female warriors for the Mexican Revolution okay explosive expert the first coronel authentic coronel for the Pancho Villas Army and San Petrina, the spy for Emiliano Zapata. And it's very interesting, different blends, different flavor profiles with Mexican tobaccos and, and Dominican Republic tobaccos. And right now I'm working in a, build, a new blend with a very interesting collaboration with a very great master blender. I can say more, but in PCA you can see this new product, a limited production. That's awesome. I'm excited to hear about that. And I've been a big fan of what you put out last year at TPE. And I'm super excited to see the uh, growth and how everybody's really taken to what you've been putting out there, man. I mean, you yeah, you really hit it good, man. You hit it good. You hit, I think, I think the stories behind your cigars really enhance that, the cigar to a point where you're like, man, I got to have more. I got to know more. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you for that. But our goal for Casa 1910, it's expose Mexico, it's uh, expose our heritage for Mexicans in the entire world with, with you guys from US, the European people and the Asian people, and in turn Mexico actually on the Latin America. We need to expose Mexico with, with the entire world at about the revolution, about the, the art, the mixology, the architecture, all about Mexico. The tequila, of course. Yeah, <laughs> now, of course, you can't, can't go wrong without the tequila. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Good, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time and all. Appreciate it. No, thank you. Back here at PCA with the great Angelo from Founders Cigar Company. What's going on, man? How's it going, guys? So what do we got going on with Founders? Well, no new releases for the year. The big one for us last year was the uh, Candela. That has been so popular. It's just a, it's a nice flavor profile, but the, the strength on it is a lot more about a Connecticut. So I always tell people, if you like the body of a Connecticut, but you're looking for something that's more flavorful and got a really nice flavor journey, check out our Candela. I know you're a fan of our Candela. Yes. Um, you know, our, uh, our Habano just got rated on Cigar Snob, so that was really cool to see. We got a 90 rating in that magazine. And then, you know, rounding it out with our, our medium body Maduro and our dual wrap and our Connecticut. Um, but what I want to pull your guys' attention to is half of our company is corporate and charity projects. So this is John Daly, the golfer. This is a veteran organization that does hunting and fishing trips with vets and wounded police officers. Jason Zucker plays for the Pittsburgh Penguins, a federal law enforcement agency. 
Um, so we do stuff like that all the time where our whole goal as a company is to help people build community. And so what better way is to partner with different charities and organizations to help them build uh, awareness for their cause and help them build their communities. So that's something that we love doing all the time. It's a great way for us to build brand awareness without feeling like we're competing with our shops. And this is what it looks like filled. So this is a, a very popular item for us. You know, five cigars, cutter and a lighter. We have blank lids in the office. So if, if you or if anyone you know has an uh, event, a charity, something, anniversary, birthday, new baby coming up, you know, we'd love to do a cool project with you guys. So uh, hit us up on our website uh, through email, whatever. We can uh, get something set up for you and we'd love to work with you. That's awesome. You know, I think those customized gift sets really add that extra touch, especially yeah. if you're putting on a, a, an, uh, an event, like you said, uh, right. to get those made there. And you're not competing with retail right. shops. You're just right. kind of doing something side business-wise. And it took off way more than we... We knew it was going to be popular, but it seems like once someone sees it and someone else sees it... and I mean, when was the last time you got a cool gift of, of cigars like that? So it's just it's something that we, we really enjoy doing. I wish somebody would get me something like that. <laughs> hint, hint, people. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> On that. Yeah. So the big thing from PCA was the Candela. And, yep. you know, for somebody like me, and there's a lot of people like me, we're not definitely the biggest Candela guys. But I got to say, it doesn't smoke like a Candela. You really... You really didn't try to overcompensate for the candela. You went, you did what great candelas do. You you allowed it to shine yep. while letting the blend kind of do the talking for yep. you on yep. that instead of letting over letting the blend overshadow yep. the the candela. And yep. I think you guys hit the hit that perfectly. Right. I mean, we we did because our bar ripple so popular. We considered doing a blend of the habano and the. Uh, Candela because I love our Habano, I love our Candela, but at the end of the day, I was like, the Habano is just going to overpower anything. You're going to lose what I love about the Candela, and that's exactly it. I wanted to get out of the way of the Candela. I wanted the Candela to shine, and I think that we, we really did it with this blend. So. Yeah, I did too. I, yeah. For for me, that's one of the best Candelas, you know, and that's one thing that I, I uh, it is a stick I've thrown out there to a lot of people yeah. to, you know, don't. But don't pay attention to Candela. Just right. smoke it. Trust right. me. Right. It will. You will not look at Candela ever the same. You'll never want to smoke another Candela other than Founders well, Candela. I appreciate, the, uh, I appreciate that vote of confidence. So I do, and I, and of course the the barber pole. I love that. That's one of my favorite, 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 favorite cigars. Just yeah. to just to go. It's one of those daily rotation yep. sticks for me. Yep. It, it does. It definitely hits the justice. You know, because but again. You guys have mastered down on that blending on it, where you're not let, you're not allowing the, you're letting the wrappers do the talking for you, and the blend is there. You know it's there, so yep. you've got that perfect blend. So, yep. so the guys you're working with are doing a killer job on that. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. The we're learning a lot, learn a lot from the factory, learn a lot from guys who deal with tobacco every single day. So we we've, we've just tried to become students of the industry and students of just the history of the industry and. And just really learning why certain things are paired this way and all of that. So it's it's been a really it's been a really fun you know three years for us. The 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 growth from you guys last year, uh, you guys were here just as attendees to get yeah. information and look, and yeah. then you you jumped into PCA yeah. and you blew up after PCA like yeah. massively, which I think is amazing because you guys have have really you you know you've you've targeted a great group of people. Uh, out there, your price point is is perfect. You've made it an everyday smoke for yep. people, yep. And, and and the causes that you guys are part of and great are a lot that everybody can get behind. Right. So, right. you know, I think you guys you guys have done an amazing job with your marketing out there. I appreciate it, and, and that's honestly what we look at our core line is the whole reason we exist is to trick people in the community. And I can't do that with a heavy cigar. I have to have something medium bodied. I have to have something approachable. The best compliment I've ever gotten is like, hey, I don't wake up with your cigars. That's perfect. That's by design. And I think a lot of people appreciate that medium bodied cigar more than you know uh, the industry gives credit to. So it's been, uh, you know, definitely, you know, we came from outside of the industry into the industry. We had a theory. And then at PCA, we just, after PCA, we started calling all shops around military bases. And I think we're in, 
probably 30, 31 states now, and uh, picked up a couple new states uh, this weekend. So it's been it's been a fun growth curve for us. I know. I wish I could get you. I wish I could get you in my local shop. But where? Hey, we had a bunch of people from Colorado swing by. So yeah, maybe get, come into a store near you. Get you into a store <laughs> in Colorado. Get you into the shop in Wyoming. Yep. That way. That way I don't have to travel so far to get it. And I can buy direct from the shop instead Bingo. of buying from online on that. Bingo. Um, and so you guys working on anything new that you may be able to release around PCA no, or talk? No. We made a decision coming into this year that we're going to build off of what we did last year. So the big one for us was the Candela release. We are looking at doing some stuff with our retail boxes, looking at the bands, looking at some of that. Some, some. What can we do to mature as a company with our consistency so people have the same expectation every single time? So. Everything that we're working on, you wouldn't completely see, um, but just know that there's there's some big infrastructure stuff that we're, we're working on to really build off of last year. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. Angel, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. EPE 2023 would not be complete without a visit to our favorite by the favorite man, the extraordinaire Somalia, Vlad from Castagli Cigars. I am blushing. It's not from the booze or the air. It's just I am blushing. So I finally launched my own brand. A lot of friends and family are like, finally, what took you so long? This is, um, I found a very interesting tobacco, which is Honduran Broadleaf. Um, I had it last year in April, and I really, this blend highlights it while still being familiar. So on the wrapper, you have Mexican San Andres. In the binder, you have the Viso Jalapa, which gives you that sweetness, the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, and then in the filler, Mexican San Andres. So think cacao, dark chocolate, earth. Piso Jalapa for the sweetness, and then the Honduran Broadleaf that just gives you this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, cereal-like sweetness. Grains. Think, think of bourbon mash, actually. That's what really gives you that incredible sweetness. Available in 10-count boxes. This is $13 MSRP in a Robusto. We will have a Toro, a 6x52, and a box press 6x60 by PCA. Uh, limited run of everything is mentioned here limited production 400 boxes rolled in june of 2022 and then the maris thank you to maris she checked it out so if there's ever an issue with one of your cigars check it on the bottom and we'll get back to it the other one this the previous one was completely blended by me this one i was guided by an absolute genius was hendrick keller jr this has over 50 years worth of aged tobacco a limited production of 3,000 cigars including the 20 uh, the 1997 wrapper the 2007 binder and then five, four and five year old uh, uh, fillers, including the San Vicente, the Peruvian Pelo de Oro, and an, an African hybrid coming from Zimbabwe. Absolutely incredible. It comes in this beautiful 6x49 pyramid. Put the sum, uh, every box, it's a five count box, limited to 3,000 cigars because there just isn't any wrapper left. Every box will be numbered. 0 for 400 and then it will come with magnets. As you can see, this is a production box and these are all the cigars that I have for the show. I hope you enjoy them. Please reach out on Instagram at Vlad the Psalm and if you do end up not liking them, I want to know why. This has been one of the most incredible uh, cigars I have ever smoked. Hendrick is an absolute genius and he guided me through this and I'm forever grateful. If you do end up picking it up, let me know and we'll connect and you I want to hear your feedback. I, I think it's great you finally got the opportunity to put out what you want, you, the expression of you after years of doing it for other people. Now everybody can get a little taste of you. And it's not meant to be, the brand was never, it's never meant to be big. It's going to be limited to about 50 retailers nationwide, very small productions, and it's always going to highlight something special, whether it's old tobacco, whether it's something interesting like the Honduran one, or like Kendrick was very generous from, to offer the 25 year old rapper. Um, this is really a testament to what people do and I feel like this adds a little bit to the overall enjoyment and the conversation in the cigar industry. I hope you enjoy them, enjoy smoking them as much as we enjoy blending them. So for this one here, was this actually rolled at Kelnick Factory? Absolutely. This was rolled at Kellner Boutique Factory. The actual boxes will have the Keller Boutique factory stamp on the bottom as well as Hendrick's signature. He stands behind everything he makes and it will be numbered 0 for 400. The number 007 is already spoken for. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and and uh, the uh, 
other box here. Is this one also from the uh, uh, this, is the, this is made at the Cavalier factory in Honduras. Okay. Very, very good friends. I love everything they do. Sebastian is a dear friend. So is Brian. I've had an incredible time last April. And uh, this one, the, the KBF Psalm was guided by Hendrix. This one was made by me. Um, there was no guidance. I smoked the burritos and I said, hey, I think this works together. I made the most horrible roll in existence. If you've ever had a dolma, that's what it looked like. We lit it up and I went, okay, there's something in here. Let's get a professional to roll it. They rolled it, we smoked it, and they're like, this is great. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed blending it. Again, absolutely beautiful. The rings all go back to my Somme background, my Sommelier background. A bourbon syrup certification, a Cicerone, so if it's a liquid, I know a little bit about it. Um, this is really an ode to Honduran Broadleaf, which is a very rare tobacco. And so it's only been planted for the last couple of years. It's something really, really interesting. And like all fine things, produced in limited quantities. Of course. Incoming from you, it's limited edition like yourself. <laughs> Thank, you. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you are too. And is this going to be a continuous project for you so, throughout so the, the year? So the, the Conduran one will. This will be a regular production. Okay. Uh, it's capped at 10,000 cigars per size. So only three sizes, so 30,000 cigars. Um, it will be limited to 50 shops or less. Um, so look for your local shop. I will post the full list of everybody who's getting them. And these are all friends and family, the tagline of the brand is selective by choice. And that means selective by who we work with, how we work with, how we process cigars, and it really goes back to the hospitality roots where we try to take care of people the way they're supposed to be taken care of. I Next. hope you enjoy it. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy these as soon as they're released. And when is our release date here? It's actually shipping, some of them already shipped last okay. this week. Excellent. And they're shipping uh, Monday onward. I will be at the warehouse packing them myself. So it really is like I'm about as hands on as you can get. Yeah, there. that's it. That's it's, it's your baby. Yeah, absolutely. It's your baby. You're gonna and I'm make very sure. grateful to the Cavalier Factory, FCT. Um, they've done an incredible job. I really love the boxes. And again, complete transparency. It tells you everything there is, there is yes. in there. Uh, along with the age statements of how old the tobacco is. There is no smoke and mirrors, complete transparency. I like that. I've heard from uh, quite a few uh, quite a few other brands there that when they go to the Cavalier factory, they just, they tell them, have fun, and if, if something comes out of it, we'll, we'll make it happen. And the guys are phenomenal. I love Sebastian and, and Brian and all things, right? I work in the cigar industry. I can smoke a lot of things. I buy it off the shelves. I enjoy their white series, the black series. They're phenomenal people. Yeah, they're great. I love Sebastian, too. He's one of the few guys I fanboy out over. 100%. They are uh, phenomenal. Excellent. Vlad, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, guys.